Certiport's IC3 exams are mapped to the latest digital literacy standards. Certiport's latest IC3 version is delivered through Certiport's online exam delivery. Past versions of this exam may be delivered through a different exam delivery method. Please contact your sales consultant for more information about the versions available for the IC3 certification. To launch an IC3 exam, the test candidate double-clicks the Certiport Online Exams icon from the desktop. The test candidate will log in using their Certiport username and password. If they have not previously registered as a Certiport test candidate, they can do so by clicking the register link on this screen. After entering their username and password, the candidate selects the program and clicks Log In. Prior to testing, the candidate may be required to complete additional registration information. Click OK to view this information. Before taking this exam, the test candidate must accept Certiport's non-disclosure agreement. The candidate may click the Certiport non-disclosure agreement link to view and accept this agreement. The content of Certiport examinations is confidential and is protected by law. It is made available to the test candidate solely for the purpose of skill measurement with regard to the exam taken. In this agreement, the test candidate promises to treat all information confidentially and not disclose any test information without proper authorization by clicking Yes, I accept. Next, the candidate selects the exam to be taken. Because many programs have several exams and versions available, carefully review the exam titles and select the correct option. Exam groups are optional and provide an instructor with additional organization and reporting functionality for a group of test candidates. If an instructor wishes to use an exam group, they will set it up prior to testing and provide the exam group number to the test candidates. The candidate will then select Yes here and enter the exam group number. If the test candidate has not been instructed to enter an exam group number, they will leave the selection on the defaulted No. Instructors needing more information about exam groups can visit www.certiport.com go for a full catalog of training videos. If the test candidate has been provided with a voucher for this exam, they will select Yes and enter the voucher number here. Otherwise, they will leave the selection on the defaulted No. To proceed, the candidate clicks Next. At this stage, the Proctor Authorization screen appears. The Proctor will review and verify the exam information candidate information, and testing center information. After verifying that these details are correct, they will click this checkbox stating that they have verified the candidate's identification. The proctor will then enter their username and password and click Start Exam.